Alright, hey Liz, welcome back to Final Fantasy 16. Uh, we're still, we just finished up a little side quest to uh, get some Dragon Slayer gear or something like that. Drake Slayer? I can't remember. But yeah, anyways, um, we're gonna go ahead and talk to Desiree real quick because I know we got some more renown. So let's check out Pillow Talk. We got a Berserker ring, okay, that's interesting. All yours. And then we passed the 100 uh, renowned thresholds, so now it looks like we've unlocked a few other more options. So that's pretty cool. Um, Cleric's Medallion, Dire Wolf Jess, whatever that is. Oh, you can actually look. That's cool. Combo damage. That's nice. Healing potency. Valuable. Okay, cool. Uh, what is the Berserker Ring, anyway? Uh, temporarily increases attack proficiency with each precision duck. Oh, nice. That's pretty cool. Dodge, not dog. Um... This just shows us the thing, I think, right? Yeah. All right, cool. Oh, uh, nice. It puts an X. Okay, so yeah, we did take the Ahriman out. <laughs> but I guess we could do these two if we want. I think we'll just skip on it for now, but I'm definitely down to do it in the future. Uh, either way, let's go ahead and speak with Vivian. I think that's the next thing, right? We don't have anything else. Yeah, yeah, speak with Vivian. All right, let's do it. Back again, Lord Rosfield. I'm touched that you should find me such good company. Calm down. It's just for a quest. It is not your company, but your counsel that I seek on this occasion. Ah, ever the charmer. What will it be today, then? The Iron Kingdom. I need to know what to expect. You'll soon be setting sail for Drake's breath, then, I take it. The mother crystal that rises from the boiling sea. There was a time when a true-blooded Rosarian had only to brave the waves to visit it. But then the Ironblood made their move. As you know, the Iron Kingdom rules over the islands to the west of Storm. Or rather, its church does. But this is not the pragmatic approach to state religion employed by the Holy Empire to manipulate the masses. No, the Iron Kingdom is the literal embodiment of the crystalline orthodoxy. And so, if one is to understand it, one must start there. As the name implies, the orthodoxy holds the Mother Crystal sacred, and they do not take kindly to heathens plundering the objects of their worship for the means to fill wash tubs and light lamps with frivolous feats of magic. Indeed, the faithful consider ether a sinful thing, a poison no less. And to them, a dominant is an instrument of evil, albeit one they have proven only too happy to turn against their enemies. Some 80 years ago in Northern Storm, Drake's eye collapsed. Soon after, in pursuit of Aether, and with the Blight at their backs, the Northern Territories descended upon the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. And when the Shields of the Flame marched north to meet them, the Iron Kingdom spied an opportunity. A few short days later, the Crusaders landed on the island of Mount Drostanus, home of Drake's breath, and plucked it from the Duchy's grasp. Rosaria tried to reclaim it, of course, but to no avail. I doubt more than a handful of duchy men have set foot on its shores in your lifetime. Nor are they like to again, under the Empire's stewardship, meaning the Iron Blood will keep their island, and with it, the foothold they need to march on mainland soil when next they spy an opportunity. The Mother Crystal is both the object of the Iron Blood's worship and their gateway to the continent, making Drustinus the holiest of holy grounds. Hmm, interesting. From which the Orthodox Crusade shall one day sail forth to claim the remaining Mother Crystals, or die trying. My father and my grandfather both traded blows with the Iron Blood for control of Drek's breath. Had things unfolded differently at Phoenix Gate. We would have sent our entire fleet against them. But instead, they sent their fleet against Rosaria. Sacked the capital. Killed the men. And captured the women, including Jill. I'd say you'd be forgiven for wanting a little revenge, Clive. My only aim 
is to destroy the Mother Crystal. Then, thank you all the same. Not much else to do here. Let's see if Jill's ready. Yes, let's. Uh, all right. Let's go ahead and speak with Jill. Looks like she's back then, huh? From her little excursion, or or what? Soon. Oh, sorry, skipped it. My bad. I think so. Or maybe she didn't go on an, ex on an excursion. <laughs> when you told me you had to come to terms with your past, you weren't talking about destroying Drek's breath, were you? No. I spoke of Imran. The leader of the crystalline orthodox. The man who made me do all those unspeakable things. I'm going to kill him. It's what I need to do to put the past behind me. What I need... to move forward. And I know that I can do it. If you're there beside me. Always. And I'll be beside you, too. We'll bring down the Mother Crystal together. All while Sid looks on. We'll make him proud. Ooh, okay. Make the journey to Drastanis. <clears throat> Alright, sounds good. Um... I forgot that little chest. I'm not sure. I think that might just mean it's, uh... I don't know what that means actually. I think it's it's the uh, like a little side quest or something. But I'm just gonna kind of go on the main quest for a bit because we did a couple side quests already um, in the previous part. I think so. Yeah, let's go ahead and travel to Drake's breath. Let's do it. Real quiet. Useful trick. Freezing and thawing the spray to make mist. How did you learn to use your powers like this? The masters made me do it. When the crusaders took to the seas to keep the fleet's movements from prying eyes. <clears throat> I'm fine. No, you're not. This may be the only chance I get to go back. My only chance to put things right. I have to do this. Whatever the cost. All right. She is. The Iron Kingdom's mother crystal. Drake's breath. All right, Drake's breath, the Iron Kingdom. Strong currents, sharp rocks, and ether floods. Let's not forget them. This island is a natural fortress. But safety breeds complacency. Allowing a single rowing boat to slip in unseen. The sanctuary is inside the mountain. If we follow the old trail, we should be able to enter by the back gate. All right. Let's go. Sweet. 
fire and ice. <laughs> um, should we use the chocobo or? I always imagined when I came here it would be to reclaim it. It used to belong to Rosaria, didn't it? Once, though it's been in the Ironblood's clutches for far too long. As was I. For 13 years, this rock was my home. I know its secrets only too well. This path was abandoned after an ether flood. They don't guard it anymore. The perfect little shortcut. That doesn't look like we need to use the chocobo. Some small areas. Oh, little, little bits of enemies, okay. They're all Akashic. Akashic. Oh, alright. The ether flood must have spread. It was never as bad as this before. And the only way past them is through them. Alright, we decided to just one-shot them with our ultimate ability. <laughs> Understandable. Speaking of which, uh, how many ability points do we have? A little bit, but not that much. Okay. That they happen all the time. That wasn't even a bad one. It's nothing to worry about. Nice, nice. Five chunks of wit. Oh, hello. A Kashuk ogre or something? What is this? Let's take out the ads first. This one. Too slow. Tour. Okay. around? Doesn't look like it. I thought there might be though. Larger enemy, you know, might be a chest. Uh, Alright, kind of just looking at around the area too because it's pretty cool looking. Oh, here we go. Here's a chest. The Breath of Wind, Aerial Blast. This looks like a big boss fight arena. Look at this place. What a mess. Wait. Magic one. Nothing the shields of Rosaria can't handle. All right, here we go. Just like old times. Be sure to keep clear of his more. Believe me, I need you. Over here.
still can't believe they can jump. Don't these things have roots? Oh, there we go. To beat 20 enemies while semi-primed. Interesting. <laughs> Alright, achievement unlocked. Very nice. Decent amount of gold. I think those are ability points right under the experience here. So that's pretty good. Uh, match dashed and meteorite. Cool. Press on. Yes. All right, let's do it. Guessing that's the entrance, maybe, or at least one entrance, right? A back entrance. <laughs> It's hot in here. Evidently, it's like a furnace in here. Now just drain us. We're inside the volcano. You get used to the heat, though I don't remember it being quite this hot. She said it's a volcano. That would explain why it's so hot. <laughs> Only gets more and more hot too. Yeah. that one cause for concern? It was, and they're getting bigger. Oh. Something's wrong. Probably gonna explode them. Wait. Volcano. Probably gonna activate, right? I don't think we need to use that on these small dudes, but okay. It's fine, I guess. <laughs> uh, real fast, let me make sure... Okay, yeah, it is. Alright, just checking. Uh, I think we're good in all this stuff, so that should be fine. I have gotten some stuff since... The last time, aerial blast, but eh. Aerial blast, lunge damage. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, that's what should be fine. Uh, ability points, though. Let's check this stuff real quick. Alright. Kind of want to get these powerful ones. So I think we'll save up our ability points for now. Alright, let's continue on. Pushing on Salamander. Nice try. Dragon Talon, some extra loot out of a chest, and let's push on. Alright guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. Is there no other way across? <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. We're gonna go ahead and continue in the next part, and I'll see you there. Peace.